When I first looked at the job description, there was a wide variety of tasks to be carried out. It would cover in three different departments. I thought I'd just, just take a shot. I'd not long moved out. I wanted to be independent. I knew that apprenticeship was hands-on. Um, I, just, I just thought it was a good opportunity. In procurement, you, you've got to be really accurate. Um, you, you're handling important data all the time. Great communication skills, you're speaking to people all day, every day. I do plan on doing, um, I'm currently doing level four SIPs. I have done level three. I want to do five, six um, and progress in the, in the public sector. The advice I'd give someone to make their application stand out would be definitely book onto some online courses regarding Excel, Microsoft Excel. Um, it will make their application stand out. They've gone out of the way to, to learn more about it and it is extremely, extremely useful in a job like this. You use it all day, every day. So my current role uh, is very good because I get to deal with a lot of people and uh, it's very rewarding uh, seeing the impact that you have on people getting the correct training. When I first left school, I didn't really know what I wanted to do, so obviously I took the apprenticeship route. Uh, so I spent a year in the recruitment team, and then this role came up. The skills that we uh, use on a daily basis, uh, there's a lot of people skills, because you've got to be able to talk to a lot of people and obviously acknowledge how they are, because you don't always get people that are happy to do it, and get a lot of frustrated people, so you've got to learn how to be able to deal with different people skills, and also uh, you've just got to be a team player all the time, make sure that you're always chipping in for your team if they need anything. Plans for the future are to stay within the NHS at the minute uh, and obviously keep progressing because we're such a large organisation there's always going to be vacancies opening up in this trust or in other NHS trusts around the country. For main advice I'd always say to actually look into the NHS to make sure it's the thing that you want to do. First of all, I was looking for something different, um, something that wasn't like working a call centre or whatever, because um, I didn't really enjoy college. So I did a, decided to do an apprenticeship, and I wanted to do something where I could like challenge myself and do something that I haven't done before and that. I work with a team over at the Sim Centre and over at the Education Centre, so it's getting to know two different teams and what two different teams do. I'm hoping to do a level three in my NVQ business and administration and just keep um, furthering myself on with that. I would advise a young person who is applying for an apprenticeship to apply for one because it gives you a platform and it helps you gain skills that you never thought that you'd gain. So I didn't think that I would get to where I am and getting a job in recruitment as such like that, I didn't think. But it's given me a platform to develop and learn.